Well, good morning. Good morning, Mary. What's up? How's everybody doing, man? Welcome to Early Morning Grind Podcast. It's your two favorite people. Hey, honey, can you hit that button? I always had to tell her to hit the button. Well, I'm there in the morning grind with your two favorite people, Ruben and Nelsie Deuce, man. We having a good time. I hope you're having a good time. It's Taco Tuesday. It's a Taco Tuesday. It's Taco Tuesday. Yeah, believe that. Taco Tuesday, who believe in that? I know y'all believe in that. Got a talk show. It's a good thing, right? Well, we're coming to you live right here. From Early Morning Grind Podcast. Today is... What's today? May 4th. May the 4th. Tuesday. Right? Good morning, Pastor Ferguson. Today is Tuesday, May the 4th. It's a beautiful day. Because this is the day that the Lord has made. And you you need to rejoice. Regardless of how you feel, you would need you need to rejoice and be glad in this day, right? That's right. Your feet is on the ground. You're moving around. You're shaking and baking. Bed in the corner with them bow legs. <laughs> you know you got them bow legs. Straight leg. <laughs> yeah, you something else with the straight leg, yeah, you know. You know, you, you something else with the straight leg, but hey, you up this morning. You're doing it. Believe it. You're using your superpowers. That's right. You believe that? You believe you're using your superpowers? Everybody got them superpowers, though. But what come with superpowers is what come with those superpowers come with great responsibility. You know it. So we're gonna go right in. We're gonna go right in to West Palm Beach. West Palm, Beach, West Palm Beach weather, 78 degrees, 78 degrees, West Palm Beach weather, Miami weather, let's see what that Miami weather looking like, 80 degrees, man, woo And <coughs> Fort Lauderdale, man, I ain't forgot about you. Fort Lauderdale weather, man, believe that, let's go. Fort Lauderdale weather, 80 degrees, man, in the building. It's 80 degrees in Fort Lauderdale, man. I'm always stuck doing weather with this. I can't believe it. 73 degrees in in Bay. What's going on over there? What's going on in Bay? Somebody tell me why it's 73 degrees over there in Bay and in Pahokee. They got the lake over there. Because they got the what over there? 74 degrees in Polk. And the Palm Beach Improv, man. You got our boy going to be there, man. Damon Wayne's going to be there this weekend. Damon Wayne. Damon Wayne, excuse me. I was Why you talking? Because that's what I was to do. 
Oh man, but you see what last night. 65 degrees in Charlotte. <laughs> yeah, 65 degrees in Charlotte. That's natural. Oh, that's, that's natural. In the ATL, man, it's 66 degrees in Atlanta. In Jonesburg, where my sister had, 63 degrees over there. Let's go to East Point, man. 75. I wonder why it's 70. East Point. Yeah. 65 degrees in East Point, Georgia. Let's go to Los Angeles. Okay, here we go, babe. Come on, girl. Tighten up. Don't go there this morning, Tighten up. I'm there. She need to tighten up. 57 degrees in Los Angeles. I don't do LA weather. So you need to take, take but look time. like you done did all the weather this morning, except for Dallas. Dallas is at 73. Well, good morning, y'all. Welcome to the morning grind. So Dallas is at 73. Charlotte is at 69. We're going to move on to some things that actually uh, happened on this day in history. Because somebody said, I need to tighten up. I don't think I need to get no tighter than what I'm already in. Already are. But on this day, back in 1961, 13 civil rights activists, doubled freedom riders, begins a bus trip throughout the South. That is something that happened on this day in history. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and move on to what today's uh, national day is on this Tuesday morning. Uh, today's national day is Star Wars Day, Weather Observers Day, Renewal Day, Orange Juice Day. Today is also known as Candid Orange Peel Day. And last but not least, uh, well, actually, birthday and then uh, foster care day. Uh, today is also Teachers Appreciation Day. So that is what today's uh, national day is all about. Well, we got some decrees and declares coming up for you this morning. Guys, uh, decrees and declares is just a moment, moment in time that... <clears throat> We've carved out of the show for you to go ahead and speak those things into the atmosphere that you are believing for. So uh, on today, on this Tuesday morning, we decree and declare that whatsoever we touch on today shall prosper and that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Because whom the Son set free is free indeed, and what God has planned, it will succeed. Because we have the favor of God on us, and grace look well on us, and we wear it well. Because we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. Guys, we are more than conquerors. It won't be like this always. Because we walk in the fullness of God's blessings. Because we win every time. Let me tell you, ain't nothing about uh, winning a fight that's already won. We decree and declare that there is an anointing of ease upon our lives. And that God is going before us on today and he's making crooked places straight. His yoke is easy and his burden is light. Listen, it, we won't continue to struggle. What used to be difficult will not be difficult anymore because God's favor and his blessings is on our lives right now. Let me tell you, he's lightening the load for you. He's taking the pressure off. This is our declaration for you. Also, we decree and declare that God will give you the wisdom of Solomon. 
to make sound decisions for generational wealth. And if you're sick on today, we pray that you are healed from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. Because healing is God's will for your life. This is our decree and declare for you on this Tuesday morning. Well, we got announcements coming up for you guys. Uh, we want you to join us via VIH live stream on Sundays at 10 a.m. And on Wednesdays at 7.30 p.m. for an online worship experience. And guys, this is happening at the Faith Center. For more, infa- for more information, you can log on to thefaithcenterint.org. Another awesome ministry that is located in the West Palm Beach area is My Manifest Church. My Manifest is currently worshiping online at 1040 a.m. for both of their campuses. For more information, you can log on to mymanifestchurch.com forward slash live hyphen stream. Again, this is My Manifest Church. Another shout out to ministry goes to Power Prep Ministries, which is located out in the Bell Glade area. Power Prep is currently having online as well as in-house services. For more information, you can log on to powerprepministries.net. And that concludes our announcements for today. Guys, we got sports and news uh, coming up for you. And we got today's uh, coffee seed topic coming up for you. Oh, yeah. What's the day? What's the best? What's, what's, you, ain't, you ain't do the, um, what, what was the, uh, the day is chocolate day and all that. Hey, what's the day? Is? Chocolate day? No, no chocolate today. What is it? <laughs> I don't know. I, I really? Did, I did. Where were you were sitting right here, Coach? What, what you said? He tuned out. Let me tell you. What you said? Well, Star Wars Day, but it's nothing to eat. The only thing that's on here that's edible is Orange Juice Day. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, Candid Orange Peel Day. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like that. That's good. All right. So, <clears throat> we got local news. Local news. What, what are we looking at? I got sports, man. Yeah, I got sports. And I got scores. The Lakers finally break, breaks a three game losing streak. Really? Without LeBron James. Oh, that's LeBron kind of hurt. LeBron got to get well, man. You know, he's. He want to come back. I think he should have sat out a little longer. So I think he need to sit out until the playoffs. Let these boys jail. Yeah. The Warriors defeated the Pelicans on last night. Ooh, the Wizards beat the Pacers. Man, the Wizards are really beating teams up. They really punching teams in the mouth. The Hawks beat the Trailblazers. The 76ers beat the Bulls. The Knicks beat the um, Grizzlies. The Knicks went in two. You know it. The Jazz beat the Spurs and the Lakers. Finally. The Lakers knock us off Denver, man. Knock them off. Knock them right off. Believe that. All right. Let LeBron play without LeBron. AD snap with 25 points. You know. AD got to know who he is. Believe that. Stepped up. Killed it. AB, AD, AD say, hey, I got to step in and take care of this. You know what I mean? That's right. Because it's going to be his team next. NFL draft has been in the books. We, we praying for... Um, I'm praying for my boy Destroy. Destroy. Destroy that he finds a team. Okay. The kicker mm-hmm. that got kicked out by UCF mm-hmm. for using his YouTube videos. He worked out, out worked out down there with um, Brandon Marshall, House of Athletes. Okay. 
Shouts out to the House of Athletes. They doing big things, you know. And, um, hey, that's where we are. Now let's do our coffee seat topic of the day. <laughs> I like that topic. You, why, you like that topic? Beware of your kryptonite. <laughs> what is your kryptonite, superhero? <laughs> oh. And, you know... And when we think about kryptonite, we always uh, think about Superman, right? Superman comics and the movies. Um, when he when when he uh, is confronted uh, with kryptonite, meaning his weakness, right, or his weaknesses. Uh, so be careful of your weaknesses. You know. <clears throat> Look, here's the thing. Yesterday we was talking about knowing the superhero or the importance. Of you knowing the superhero that's in you, right? And yeah. Knowing that you got superpowers. Mm-hmm. Also know that what comes with superpowers comes with great responsibility. Mm-hmm. And they're always a kryptonite to stop. <laughs> you believing in your superpowers, right? Okay. I think I put it wrong, though. I put kryptonite. Oh, it's spelled K-R-Y-P-T-O-N-I-T-E. Kryptonite. So, I mean, what's the average black man kryptonite? <laughs> Sex. <laughs> Who your phone? Who you think the average black man kryptonite is sex? I don't think so. It can be all type of things, right? Sex and power, right? I don't, I don't think so. I gotta cut that off for that. But I don't I don't think so. I think that <laughs> if it's not, it's showing the top of the list. With the cap <laughs> <laughs> You know I'm telling the truth. Right. Okay, so you, you, you think it's at the top of the list? Yeah. It, 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 we, we we gotta have some of that. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, we gotta have some of that. No music, we, we gotta have that. Oh my goodness! So you said a, a man crib tonight? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna type this in. What you gonna type in? Man's weakness. <laughs> I can do it for you. No, I got it. I'm gonna type this in. I wanna, I wanna know this. Okay. They say they say a girl says you are my kryptonite to a guy. Meaning that she's weak for him. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. What is man's greatest weakness? No, I ain't talking about weakness. Screw that. Kryptonite <laughs> to a superhero. You could be any man, but I'm talking about a kryptonite that understand that a person that understand they have the superpowers to change their life and change the world. Mm-hmm. Right. So So when a man loves a woman, she becomes his weakness. Oh man. Is it money? Uh, I don't know. It all like you say it all depends on on the individual. Yeah, no worries. So Most days, men are weak for a lot of things, you know. Um, But I think for the most part, um, sometimes men are, are, you know, weak with having a conversation uh, with a woman about a specific thing, especially if they're not really sure or if it's a a difficult uh, conversation. Right. But for the most part, women, I don't think that's not, that's not most women weakness because we got this thing where we just want to tell a person off and mm-hmm. switch our hair and our head to the side and be like, Nobody let got me time tell for that. you. ain't got time for all that. I'm just saying. So um, men are, are, most men when it comes to relationships, they are, they are very weak, especially if they're 
I'm absolutely in love with a person. Mm-hmm. It, it, it could be, and it could be, you know, the grandbaby. <laughs> I think that's our kryptonite, me and you. Uh, <laughs> no, but seriously, though, they said a black man's kryptonite is, what? is a white woman. Is that really on the internet? <laughs> right there. <clears throat> uh, give us a, give us your feedback on today. Give us no, your I say feedback. A white on woman, today. the black man's kryptonite. It's a question. Mm-hmm. Right? Okay. Mm-hmm. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't I I I think it, it, it doesn't deal with Ray. I think it, it's actually it's it's not a race thing. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's a race thing. I think it's 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 uh, it's what it is, right? Well, it has to do with that girl's wit, her charm. You know what I'm saying? The way she look, her curves, right. all that going into play. Right. If she got hips, she got uh, you know, a dunk a dunk. <laughs> mm-hmm. All that going into you know. Uh, what guys are really weak about when it comes to a girl, you know? Right. You, when you come in contact with that person, you just you just melt his world. Right. Or vice versa, she just you know give you butterflies and be like, mm, right. I gotta be with that girl, you know? So they say women don't have a kryptonite, but they say they they always say a man's kryptonite is the booty. <laughs> I said that. The booty. I, I, I called it the kadonka donk. <laughs> Not all men. Most some men are turned on by other things. They could like you know, all right. the breasts, you know, some like people's teeth, their hair. I, I think it's all like all women. I don't think all men, I mean, I think all men have a weakness. I don't think it's just black men. I think it's white men. I think it's white men kryptonite is black women. Oh, mm. oh, they love black women. I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that, Coach? Yeah, well, you know. So I think it's, it's it's an even scale when it comes to men and women. So yeah, everybody has just, a weakness, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, money too, money and power. Three things. Is, seriously though, three things that make man fall. The lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. You hit it right on the button. So that's the three things. That, that's the kryptonite. Uh, yeah. If you look at it, that's what that's the word say. That is right? it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know. Um, Amen. But they say uh, <laughs> when it comes to the, I want to say this, though. When it comes to the, the, the they say the booty. The booty. The booty. The booty. Yeah. Say when they come to the booty, the Superman had one vulnerability. Other times he felt invincible. Once Clark Kent changed clothes, there was no stopping him. However, once he found himself in a vicinity of a rare rock kryptonite, his flaws began to show. Mm-hmm. But you know who brought him back? Lois Lane. <laughs> that one man. <laughs> She she was his what woman? She was his support system. Mm-hmm. That helped me. Yeah. That the word talks about. That's right. And right by his side. Come on, Clark. Mm-hmm. You can do this. You can make it. You know. Don't give up now. Mm-hmm. We got to take him down. <laughs> no. Remember. Remember. Um, I think. I think it was uh, the movie that they just made. Uh, I think it was the Justice League. Mm-hmm. Um, they had your boy on there too, the Aquaman, Wonder Woman. I didn't get to see the that. The fast guy. But um, they brought Superman back to life. And when they brought him back to life, you need to hold this. When they brought him back to life. I don't know when he, you took yeah, it out of my hand. When they brought him back to life, they uh, he actually figured out who he was. Mm-hmm. He was trying to Kill Batman, Batman told Alfred, bring out plan B. And he brought out he brought out Lois Lane and she calmed him down. He kinda of flew off into the sunset. So I don't know if you saw that. So No, that's so romantic. 
Yeah. I think she was his weakness also. Yeah. Even though she wasn't the, you know, the per se, the kryptonite, but she was his kryptonite. She was his uh, support system, you say? His weakness. Anything for Lois. Mm-hmm. You know? You think so? Did you like that? Oh, absolutely. If you got to be somewhere, the time now is 7.55. Yeah, we got to roll here in a minute, but yeah. But I think um, three things that make man fall. You got to, when you talk, you got to put that right I there. did have it like that. Three things that make man fall. The lust of the yard, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. That's right. That's your kryptonite. That is true. So make sure you're watching all three. <laughs> yeah, you got something over there? I'm doing this. Uh, I got an inspirational you learn, corner. You, you got to learn that. So on to today's inspiration, yeah. and it just reads, anyone who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new. Mm -hmm. uh, that is today's uh, words of wisdom. Um, I have a scripture for you today, uh, guys. Uh, today's scripture uh, is coming from, let's see, I want to give you a really nice one this morning. Psalms uh, 5 and 11, this is a King James Version. But let all the that all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. <laughs> Let them ever shout for joy because thou defendest them. Let them also love thy name. Be joyful in thee. That is uh, today's scripture. So make sure you are rejoicing on today, especially in God's name. On to Coaches Help Desk. Welcome to Coaches Help Desk with your boy Coach Dudes Live in Effect. Remember, dream big and pursue them. Just don't dream, pursue your dream. Potential that it's, it's not used, it's lost potential. Please use the potential God has given you. You never know who you may be or end up in life. It's by the one and only coach, Duke. Three things that make man fall lust of the God, lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. That's what we want to tell you. So beware of your kryptonite. Amen. Don't indulge much into those things, right? Put God first in everything that you do. In other words, uh, in trying to success, in, in in your process of trying to be successful, don't put success. Don't make success your God. Don't make success the 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 premier thing, right? It can be the primary. Can it be the primary thing? Success. Oh yes, absolutely. But you don't want to make it as a it, it's your God. It's your God, right? right? So you don't want to get so to the point that you forget about the little things that you need to deal with around you, right? right. And then and neglect that. Mm -hmm. For instance, your family, That's which is very important. That's you got children. You know, don't put all success in front of your children. Mm -hmm. You know, those are the things we're talking about, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. So, kryptonite can be lust of the flesh. The lust of the eye and the pride of life. We're talking about the booty. <laughs> the booty. Yeah. Yeah. So, this is the last words of wisdom for my beautiful wife, Elsie Dukes. And I got a song for her. Thank you for tuning in on this wonderful Tuesday morning. <clears throat> like always, if you like what you heard on today, go ahead and hit that like and that share button. Join us on tomorrow mm -hmm. for early morning grind with your two favorite people, Ruben and Elsie Dukes. You guys have a blessed and awesome Tuesday. Coach got a, a song coming up for you. And remember, we got product. We got product. So make sure you're uh, keeping an eye out. You know it, girl. Now get up and walk before I can see you. Before I can see you bend the corner. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that is. I don't know why you walk. Y'all need to see this. She walking like she walking like she got a uh, like somebody that kicked her up in her um, <laughs> in her butt. <laughs> That's how you walking though.
she been in the corner. That's the song I was talking about. And she bit in the corner. All right, we out of here, man. Peace. and Entertainment Incorporated, where we work for you, such as mentoring and financial help. Sports we cover, football, baseball, basketball, and hockey. Our locations are West Palm Beach, Fort Lauderdale, and Miami. D&D Sports and Entertainment, an agency that you can trust. <laughs> DDR at 93.3 will be hosting the first annual celebration at the Breakers Hotel on the island of Palm Beach. That's right. With your two favorite people from Let's Talk Radio, Ruben and Alza Dukes, will be in attendance. We will be hosting that, and it will be an all-white ball for couples and newlyweds and marriage couples. So come out on March 4th at 8 p.m. and enjoy yourself at the Breakers Hotel at the first annual couple celebration. Thank you.